So they need to look to try and get the ball into him and then try and get bodies in him. by Carvalho. Well, there was a foul, but it's good to see Carvalho, two fan points. Kilo. Well, this is a long period of possession for Hull, but they're not exactly hurting Sunderland or frustrating them. Co nine. Greg Doherty now. Carvalho. It's a good spell of possession, this from Hull City, just taking the sting out of the game. Sometimes away from home, you just need to slow a game down the way. Equa, Hume. Or creative, look to try and get the, the ball in. Listen, there's a why you have a number nine is he has to be your focal point. A minor contact with Coil there. Bellingham has been quiet. Or Equa. Yeah, Carvalho's just too sharp. Ball's laid off by Tufan. Equa probably thinks he's got more time than he actually has, feels he can get to that. Carvalho, plenty of got. And that's what we saw in the first half, plenty of, of threat from... Morton now for Coyle. Middle <laughs> have won five of their last seven championship games here and they need the... Morton now for Regan Slater. Hull working it around again, moving it about. Matty Jacob, Rob Jones in the way. <laughs> Jacob. Lakilo. Bellingham. Nicely done by Sunderland, and it ends up, of course, at the feet of Jack Clark. Well, for Liam Rossini and Hall, is this going to prove to be the classic away performance? He seemingly does take a deflection, but Carvalho, if you look at his body shape, all he's trying to do is hit the target. He might score. Or... It's not purely good fortune, this, because the shot is on target. Keeps that ball down, keeps it on target. It means that Sunderland and their defenders have to deal with it. And they... And Fabio Cavalli was brought to the to the club to hold to make a difference. A hefty deflection helped him, but he certainly set himself up brilliantly for the strike.